just a reminder, you have the in-depth and you have your dream sheet. Don't forget to complete. Here's
think and believe that everybody will accept they thank you, amen? Amen, amen. Let's see here, what we got next? Uh, on a lesser note, Pastor would like to remind all members to place the keys back in the key box. Please, y'all. Please. Don't use the church van for personal use. That's not now. The church van is not used for Thursday night bingo. This, you know, when you got a dream, you got to, you got to get it to hope. See, that's just the beginning of it. Having a dream is just the beginning. The next thing that comes up is hope. And see, hope gives you strength. And that's the strength you need to proceed in your dreams. That way you can understand why God said, I, I am God and God alone. <laughs> that's right. And see, one way that I get hope, inspiration, it's through music. I love music. And music gives me inspiration. And you may be saying, well, well, would you get your musical inspiration from? My musical inspiration comes from three of the most well-known men in churches across America. The deacons during devotion. <laughs> well, these men here, these, it's, it's real. I got a name for every last one of them. The first one, I call him the interpreter. The interpreter. This man, Joel, is to come up and to sing or to interpret the words to the one song that everybody loves to sing, All right. but don't know how to know the words. And see, then you got that third 
there. This brother here, this is the brother I love. I call him Deacon Two Beats. Deacon Two Beats. Because see, this why everybody else is on the one rhythm to the one song. Deacon Two Beats got a rhythm of his own. But you can't get mad at him though. Because he got that same hair and ain't he had since he about seven years old. <laughs> but one thing about it, won't nobody tell him to sit down, won't nobody tell him you know shut down because see two reasons. He's a deacon of he a deacon of the church, and this brother can sing. Oh Lord, have mercy, this brother can sing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time to be talking to you all day, boy. I ain't got time to be 
like you think I'm yet I, I, I'm getting you because I'm not you what you need to do every day. Get out your nose, man. Quit kidding. I'm let me tell you something. I'm afraid that if you don't start getting it right and being more clean, you might be going to not heaven. You might be going to not heaven. And I thought about that. I said, what if then? I tell y'all something. People in Nashville, you know, if Nashville actually determined what we were going to heaven with, it'd be a whole lot of people <laughs> on a one-way cruise. Right? <laughs> on a love over here. Ain't no thing to do. You know, I said, because that's, see, digging, man, that's, that don't even shake hands no more. I don't say, I just give people a Hey, hey, Marcus, Marcus. Listen, buddy, listen. <laughs> the deal we just closed in there, buddy, was great. You and I together closed one of the biggest deals in two fiscal calendars. Put her there, buddy. <laughs> uh, give me a pound. Give me a pound. Hey, man, I'm Marcus O'Neill, a.k.a. Mo, Mo Swag. Y'all be on the guard. Stay in peace. Thank you very much, Mark. Very good. <laughs> 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 That's great.